Sacramento Kings, Chris Duarte. How are you, sir? Welcome to Sacramento. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing great. Excited to be here. Awesome. What, what was your uh, feeling, your emotions when you found out you were headed to Sacramento? Uh, I felt great. Uh, you know, I was looking forward to a new opportunity, uh, you know, and uh, especially now coming here to Sacramento uh, when they have something going really, really good. And uh, this is good to be part of that. Mm -hmm. You you play with Domas in, in Indiana, and I know you've been asked a ton about that, but I got to ask, what, what makes playing with him feel, so fun? I feel like I keep saying the same thing. I know, I know. <laughs> See, I think you made him better. Exactly. I know. No one I talks said. about that. <laughs> like I said before uh, to the other uh, reporters, uh, you know, Domas, uh, great guy, uh, great person off the court. I don't need to say any uh, stuff right. on the court because everybody know what he do on the court. But off the court, he's a great person, a uh, great human being, a uh, great family man. And, and I love that. Uh, I met his family, too, and they, they are also like that. And that's what I really like about him and his family. His dad was a pretty good player, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't, get to, I didn't get to watch him. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, heard, I heard he was really, really good. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just excited to re re uh, reunite with mm -hmm. him, uh, get back uh, – with him and uh, this amazing group, yeah, uh, a lot of talent, you know, a lot of young guys, good guys on and off the court, which I like that. Um, and I'm just excited to be part of that. Mm -hmm. Chris Duarte is with us, and we know for a fact a lot of fans very excited when yes. they found out you were coming here. This team, obviously, offensively off the charts. Defensively, they struggled. What do you see as ways that Chris Duarte can help this team improve upon a – you know, they had a great season last year. Well, that's one of the keys, you know, uh, defensively. Uh, that's one of, one of our keys is, is going out there and, and we have to be better. We know that, that for you to be able to get to the top, you know, you have to be good defensively. And uh, offensively, we got it. We got it. We're right there. We have a lot of guys that, that can score. So, like I said, I'm just excited to be in this winning culture. Mm -hmm. I, I saw on Instagram mainly that, that you and Domas linked up almost right after the trade. You guys were working out with Coach Christie, Coach yeah. Barbosa. What was that experience like? And, I mean, do you still feel like Barbosa and, and Doug could, you know, get another year in the league out of them? I feel like, you know, those guys are in some really good shape still. Uh, no, I mean, those two guys, uh, great guys, yeah. great guys. Uh, when I, I was out there in L.A. for three weeks, uh, had a really, really good time. Uh, with those guys and Doug and, and LB, they been helping me out a lot. Uh, those two guys, it's good to learn from those two guys, you know, great players uh, back in the days when they played basketball, you know, so they have a lot of knowledge that, that I can take from there and, and learn. Right. Chris Duarte with us. We know that you got off to a great start as a rookie. We know they had some health issues, and we know you're not the type to make excuses, and I'm not asking you to make excuses, but how healthy are you now, and how much did those physical setbacks really make it more difficult for you to play at the level that you are capable of playing at? I'm healthy. Yeah. I'm healthy. Uh, uh, that was one of my main focus, uh, just working on my body. You know, uh, I was just thinking this summer, uh, what, would I was, uh, what I was missing, why was this happening, you know? Uh, I even turned out uh, going to the World Cup with the Dominican national team just to work on my body, focus on, on me, on myself, uh, mentally and physically. So I'm ready to go, ready to go and excited uh, about this. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're, you're coming from Indiana. That's with Coach Carlisle. But last year, Mike Brown introduced us to some just just a season of craziness he started off with yelling and you know the the craziness just continued throughout the year some of the greatest quotes you'll ever hear what what are you expecting or what have you heard about uh coach brown and, and what are you expecting uh him to be throughout the season what i heard about him first thing i heard about him uh it was that he's a tough coach mm. uh hard nose but he wants the best you know he wants the best he want to get the best out of you uh and the, you have to play different, you know. <laughs> That's what I heard the most yeah. about him. You have to be a two-way player with him, mm -hmm. you know. You have to be a – you have to be all the way in with him. So uh, I like that. You know, I like that because I feel like I'm that type of guy too. So I'm excited for that. A lot of the league was surprised by how well the Kings played last year. 
What was it like you viewing them as an opponent last year? Were you surprised by how well they started the season? What was it like uh, preparing, being part of a team that was preparing to play last year's Sacramento Kings? Uh, well, we obviously we knew how good of an offensive team they were last year. So it was not, it wasn't easy playing against them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're fast team. Uh, a lot of guys that can score. Uh, Fox at the point, Thomas at the point five, you know, playing everything. So it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. <laughs> but it looks like fun to play that way, yeah. right? It, it was. It was because, you know, they play together. A lot of pitching and go, a lot of cutting, a lot of low split. One guy go off tonight and everybody's happy. Then the next the next guy go off. Like, it, it looks like, you know, everybody's cheer for each other. Is that and kind of the natural way you play basketball? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys see him my first year in Indiana, mm -hmm. you know, playing with alongside with Sabonis, you know, playing off the ball, playing with the ball, coming off the pick and roll, making play for my teammate defensively, you know. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we have something good. Mm -hmm. How did this offseason go for you? Did you work on anything specific or, or was it just kind of general rounding out your game? Like you say, general around the game, you know, just – uh, mostly it was my body, you know, just, mm -hmm. like I said, just working on my body, uh, trying to get as, as healthy as I could, you know, cause for me, it's just being healthy, right. you know, if I'm healthy, I know I can just go out there and produce mm -hmm. and perform and help the team on both sides of, of the floor. What is it? What do you think of this new guy, Vizenkov? You know, as fans, <laughs> we see, we look at the video, we maybe see him play an overseas game. And I know you obviously know a lot of people in the game. Uh, we don't have that that benefit. But what what do you make of this this new guy coming over? What do you think of Sasha Vizenkov based on what uh, what you know him so far? Sasha, he's a great human being. He's a great human being. Great human being. I talk to him every day, and he also <laughs> speaks Spanish. Oh yeah, right. Which you know make me feel a little bit comfortable, right. you know, because uh, yeah. But he can shoot the thing, you know. I, I, <laughs> he can shoot crazy. that thing. He can shoot that thing. So. He's excited to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Duarte, welcome to Sacramento. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Happy guys. media day. Sake. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Yes, sir. Yeah. We'll be right back. It's Watkins and Whitey, Kings Media Day uh, at the practice facility at the Golden One Center in Sacktown Sports.